Behind the Astros, both in the NL Central and the wild card, Sean Estes. On the mound for Cincinnati, still looking for his first win as a Red. Junior would have a big day. And this is left fielder Ken Griffey Jr. starting for the first time in a position other than center field. His seventh home run of the year, Griffey four for four. And Jeff, Sean Estes in trouble here. Well, Estes is a, a left-handed pitcher. He's got good stuff. He's just got to believe in his own right that his stuff is fine. He gets in ball games and, and walks with five guys in two innings. That, there's just no way that, that he should be doing that. Somewhere along the line, he's got to believe that he's good enough. He's the same pitcher that he was when he won 19 games for the San Francisco Giants. But he's got to believe it. You can't teach a guy to, to believe in himself. He's got to do it on his own. Yeah, Estes struggled. Gave up six runs on seven hits in five and walked five guys, as Jeff mentioned. Peter Monroe to Brian Hunter here. And then it's Junior. Slaps a single to center. It'll score Aaron Boone. And this ties the game 4-4. Still 4-4 in the fifth. Right, Griffey's got a bad hip. He isn't running very well. He wasn't even supposed to start in the series, just pinch hit. But he's playing left field, Reggie Taylor in center, because he's a little slowed by that hip. And Austin Kern's out there in right, making a nice play. 5-4 Astros, same inning. Adam Everett facing Estes, and that's a double. Ausmus comes in from second at 6-4 Houston. Take another look. Griffey has to dodge the cup to make the play. <laughs> Top six. Flash Gordon, first appearance as an Astro, gets Jason LaRue. Astros get out of a out of the six with a 6-4 victory. Gordon retired all four batters he faced. Billy Wags trying to get the save. 99 by Todd Walker and Houston wins 6-4. That's, that's a great pickup to be able to get a guy like Flash Gordon. He was pitching great. He's got his velocity back, and now he's throwing that slider for strikes. I'll tell you what, this may be the key that puts the Astros back in this race in a hurry. Uh -huh. Astros, big NL Central Series. Minute made field. Wade Miller unbeaten since the All-Star break. First inning. Todd Walker leads off the base hit. Miller having a rough start. Two batters later, it's Junior. That was a little breaking ball, Jeff Brantley. We want to take note of that there. He gets the base hit. Next batter, Austin Kearns. A three-run shot is 13th, as Miller gives up three runs on seven hits in seven. He settled down after that. Bottom one, it's Lance Berkman. Going the other way off Jimmy Haynes. Don't have to hit it far in Houston to knock it out. Berkman knocks his 34th. Astros down 3-0. They are now within two. It's 3-1. Berkman next at bat. Jimmy Haynes didn't like giving up the home run. Little message there. Berkman later walked and scored. Still bottom 4-2 on Orlando Merced. Here comes Ken Griffey Jr. Griffey. Playing with a sore hip. Yep, I'm sure it got a little sore on that play, but it made a very nice running catch. Now Jeff Wade Miller over matching Jr. with some heat here. Well, Griffey took a, a breaking ball earlier in the ball game and hit it out in the left center field. And anytime you got guys that can take a low pitch and drive it the other way, especially a breaking ball, you got to come back with a fastball up and in and see how quick Griffey reacts, especially after diving for that ball and, and looking like he jammed his wrist. And for the rest of the ball game, all the Houston Astros pitchers did was just feed him the fastball up and in, trying to make him see if he can get that bat head to the ball. And he had a real hard time with it. You see Tom Gordon here just rushed it up really high. You got to make a guy hit that hit that ball, even if it's King Griffey Jr. Jr. One for five, K four times. Seventh inning, three two Cincy runner on second for Berkman. It's into left. They're going to wave Biggio. He's coming around. RBI number 105 for Berkman, and this is tied up at three. Bottom eight we go. Two on, two out. Adam, Danny Graves, big curveball gets Adam Zinter. They went to the 11th, and Jeff Flash Gordon said he was not familiar with Adam Dunn, and it cost him. Well, whether he's familiar with it or not, when you're trying to throw a curveball and a slider, every once in a while you'll get around that slider a little bit, and it'll float to the plate. And if you float one up there to a guy like Adam Dunn, he's going to make you pay and pay in a hurry. Dunn's 25th. He said, I didn't care if I was in Saudi Arabia. I didn't care where I was. I just had to get out of that slump. Three for 41. Red snapped their five-game losing streak and a seven-game road losing streak. National League wild card. Cincinnati ordered off the wild card panel by producer Judd Burch, so they are officially eliminated, <laughs> at least as far as Judd is concerned. He's Ryan Dempster pitches well today, allows two hits in seven innings, but Lance Berkman has just killed the Reds this season, batting 318.
24 RBI, and bangs his ninth homer against them today. And consider this, the Reds have 10 position players on their roster right now with less homers than that for the entire season. Wow, let's go to Minute Maid Park. Ryan Dempster facing Berkman in the first. Opposite way, home run. Berkman's 35th this year, a new career high. He leads the National League with 106 RBI. Rookie Kirk Sarloos makes his first start against the Reds, allows just four hits in seven innings, strikes out five, retires 10 straight at one point. Now, the Reds trying to rally in the eighth, but Aaron Boone's flair is fielded. Hey, that's good for a double play. Austin Kearns bangs a double in the ninth, but Pedro Borbone strikes out Ken Griffey Jr. swinging. Then he gets Adam Dunn looking. Dunn, three more strikeouts today, and the Astros train just keeps on rolling right over the Reds. Oh, my. Borbone strikes out the side, gets Sean Casey for the save. Astros blank the Reds one to nothing. Now